Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the Acne Channel. Callie here. This video has been requested. This video has been requested by you guys quite a few times and that is my updated acne scar treatment routine. And this is the best thing that you'll ever buy in your entire life. So as you guys know, I have had a few microneedling treatments in office, but Banish is something that you can use at home. It is a form of microneedling. If you're not aware of what microneedling is, it's basically collagen induction therapy. It can be really good for fine lines, for acne scars, and any little like hyperpigmentation, stuff like that. It'll help to get rid of that. It'll help the healing process speed up. It'll be quicker and It'll make your skin glow like a goddess girl, yes. My skin is pretty clear right now. I do have a blemish right here because it is that time of the month. I usually get like one or two. Um, but I'm just going to go around this spot, treat the rest of my face, and I will show you guys exactly how I do that. So the first thing you wanna do before using the Banisher 2.0 is wash your face. Make sure you start with a completely dry, clean face, no product on, um, you don't want it to be wet or anything like that, just completely dry, clean face. The second thing that you're going to do is sterilize the Banisher using rubbing alcohol. And the Banisher 2.0 is so, so great, especially if you travel because the, the tool itself screws in to this little cap where you can sanitize and pour the rubbing alcohol. And I just think that's so awesome. And then when you go to dry it off, you can rest it like this on the cap. I have been sanitizing now for about 10 minutes, so it's almost ready to use. I like to do it for about 10 to 15 minutes beforehand and then 10 to 15 minutes after. And again, this is really, really a great for travel and it's just super convenient. Definitely an upgrade from the first Spanisher. The Banisher 2.0 also has gold plated needles. The needles are much finer than the original Banisher. And because it's gold plated, it's going to be less harsh on the skin. It's going to make the skin less red and irritated. It'll heal faster. And because of the design where you stamp down, <laughs> where you stamp down, it has less of a chance to leave tram track scarring, which can happen with the roller versions, um, especially if they're used inappropriately. So all that being said, that is why I've been using the new Banisher 2.0, why I prefer this. It also can be used weekly instead of bi-weekly since it's less harsh on the skin and it lasts longer. Um, so you get more out of it, lasts longer, less harsh on the skin. I mean, what else? <laughs> what more could you ask for, right? Okay, so I'm going to tap this off. If I was near a sink right now, I would just pour this out and I'm going to let it dry for just a couple minutes. I'm letting it dry. I'm just going to tie up my hair and get ready to do this thing. Found a clip, so I'm just gonna clip it up. Clippy clip. There we go. I don't have a mirror, so I'm gonna have to use my phone as my mirror, so that's why. I, so I'm gonna have to like go like this <laughs> when I'm doing it. Um, oh my God, my skin actually looks pretty good and glowy right now. I'm shook, I'm surprised. I don't know why I'm surprised because I use Banish consistently, so it should be that way. Um, anyway, before I start uh, microneedling, the first thing I like to do is use the Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask on any active spots I may have. Um, the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask helps with inflammation, redness. I think it's really great for cystic acne. It is an exfoliating, uh, gently exfoliating mask, chemical exfoliant, has glycolic acid in it, and it smells amazing. It smells like pumpkin pie and it just works super well. So I'm treating this spot right here. That way when I am, you know, treating the rest of my skin, uh, there's no chance of me accidentally hitting that area and spreading bacteria. All right, so now I am going in with the Banisher 2.0. What you wanna do is push down and then when you lift up, turn the banisher tool, push down again, lift up, turn it, push down, lift up, turn it, and do that about three to five times in the same area. And the reason why we are turning it is so that the needles don't keep going in the same exact spot. When you turn the needles and turn the tool each time, it allows them to spread more evenly and more diversely throughout the skin. So, push down, lift up, turn, push down, lift up, turn, Push down, lift up, turn, push down, lift up, turn. And that's about it. 
So you just want to keep doing that and I'm going to do it um, all on my cheeks and that is really the only areas I have issues with right now. So, And you only really need to do a light pressure. And if I wasn't holding my phone, I would be, you know, kind of stretching the skin to smooth the skin out as well while I do it because that really helps it to get in there further. And as you can see, the skin will also get a little bit red and that is a normal response. So I can stretch out the skin like this and push down. I usually like to do this at night before I go to bed and then in the morning my skin will be completely like clear and calm and there won't be any redness left. You also want to wait after you do this at least 24 hours if you can to apply makeup and wait a bit before working out as well because you know the sweat could irritate your skin. I do have some spots right here some scars right here that bother me a little bit. I would say that's the most painful part. Okay, and that is it, it's that simple. So once you're done, again, you wanna stick the Banisher 2.0 back into the, um, the sanitizing liquid cap. What I do next is I use the Banish Oil which has vitamin C, E, ferulic acid, which are all really, really great for um, helping to heal scars quicker, helping to increase collagen production. So that is why um, you put it on after microneedling because it helps to kind of speed up the healing process and heal the skin quicker. About five to six drops. I'm going to rub it in between my fingers, pat it onto my skin. Again, it's normal for it to like sting a little bit or feel kind of like a sunburn. For extra collagen boosting properties, I actually like to layer the vitamin C cream on top of the Banish Oil. This is something I've been doing for a long, long time. And with the vitamin C cream, you only need um, a pea-sized amount, like that much for your whole face. I don't even know if I need that much. Honestly, it looks like a lot. And I'm going to to pat it in, be gentle around the eyes. And I really love this stuff because the vitamin C cream has 20% vitamin C, which is a lot. That's really, really, really gonna help with um, hyperpigmentation. If you have hyperpigmentation issues, it's also going to help with, again, restoring the collagen and elastin in the skin and just make you look like a glowing queen, yo. Last thing I need to do is just wipe off this pumpkin enzyme mask real quickly. So now that I've wiped off the pumpkin enzyme mask, I'm just gonna use another dab of the vitamin C cream, make sure I don't neglect, you know, this area of my skin. And that is it, you guys, it is that easy, it's that simple to treat your acne scars. I've been using Banish now for I don't know, two or three years, a very long time, and my skin, as you guys have seen throughout the years, um, has improved quite dramatically. So I really do recommend Banish to everyone that I know. I love Banish so much. I feel like it has completely changed my skin, helped me with my confidence, and just everything awesome. Um, and if you guys want to try out uh, Banish for yourself, treat your scars at home, you can use my discount code Callie to save money on all of your Banish purchases. Yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this informative and uh, you better understand how I treat my scars at home. This is a routine I do about once a week before bed. I try to do it on Sunday nights. Again, that is it. So make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff down below. Let me know if you have any questions about, you know, using Banish or about any other products and I will try my best to answer and I will see you guys next time. Great. Bye guys.